I said, I, I, I'll tell you, I, I, won't, I won't tell you. He signed in the thing called the Hatch Act. And so I won't tell you that, okay? So why are you calling me? He said, well, we're setting up, the president is setting up a commission, the president wasn't the whole of an early minister, setting up a commission to uh, look at the oil spill. And I am going to be chairman of that commission. And I've, I've got to collect commission members. And I have the following instruction. I'm only put members on the commission who know the technology, okay? Two, I cannot put anyone on the commission who's got, who's connected with the oil industry. I can't put anyone on the commission who's connect, connected with environmentalists, okay? <laughs> okay? Yes. And they must all be Republicans. And he said, I haven't got anyone I can put on that commission. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tight you, list. Uh, unless you tell me that you're a Republican. I said, well, I don't care when you, who you tell. I said, but if, if the White House needs to be told that I'm a Republican, you can tell them I'm a Republican. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. So almost immediately, they set up a very small commission, and, 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 and instead of exactly what, in, in, in what you're talking about, the, uh, the, there is a guy, the Geological Survey, uh, survey, survey who, who is put on the commission, who knows all about the geology of, of, of oil and, and things of that kind. Uh, there's, there's me who knows of technology, and, and I know a, a lot about the other stuff, but I have no interest with, uh, with the Union Oil Company or, or, with, or, or with the environmentalists. Uh, and, and so, you see, because it's very important that as soon as the commission is established, the environmentalists are going to charge that the commission is, uh, is not going to consider environmental considerations, and the oil companies are going to charge that the commission is not going to consider oil company things, okay? Right. And so from the, from the outset, the commission has to announce that, there's, that they, are, they are not there as a commission to help the oil companies out, and they're not as a commission to help the environmentalists, but they're a commission to resolve the problem of the Santa Barbara oil spill. You see that? Okay? Right. So... Uh, so we, we get on the airplane now and, 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 and fly out to Santa Barbara. And the first thing we do is we want to talk to the uh, top executives of the Union Oil Company. Right? And when we talk to top executives of the Union Oil Company, we discover the Union Oil Company people know nothing about the oil spill at Santa Barbara. Okay? That, that, that this is, Union Oil is a great big in, international corporation, okay? Right, uh, and the Santa Barbara oil platform it, it just happens to be one of their one of their platforms in, in which they've subcontracted out to some some unknown contractor bills and managers and so on and so forth. You see that, right? And and and, and nobody at the, at the at the top level of of Union or any executive level of Union gives a damn about the, the Santa Barbara in, incident. Uh, it's, it's not their responsibility. You see what I'm saying? So this is similar to Transocean working for BP, in other words. What? Well, I'm well, saying... It, it, it's the same thing that, that's happened in this situation. I, 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 I won't tell you that. You, you, can, you can decide whether you like that or not. Okay? But I, 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 I want to tell you what happened in Santa Barbara, okay? All right, please it's continue. Very well, but what finally happened here. So at this point, uh, the, the union will come and say, look, we can't tell you about that. We we just let a contract out to an oil driller to drill the Santa Barbara oil uh, spill, and that that driller is completely responsible for everything that's been done out there. That, just, like, just like the president said, that he said that the BP, uh, British Petroleum, was responsible for this whole thing. You see, okay? Right. And they, so they said this this company is responsible. So we call the company, and we get to call it the company. Uh, the first thing we discover is that this is the first platform, building platform, that they've ever built in the ocean. But up to that point, everything they've done is only done on land. You see that? Right. Okay. okay. So the first, first thing, uh, and the second thing is, is that we discover they really don't know what they did uh, on, on the o ocean platform because they just used land-based technology and land-based approaches. Uh, so they were going to work in the ocean, all right? Yes. So um, we we now know that 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 
the, 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 the whole platform was built by somebody who didn't know anything about uh, uh, drilling for oil. And we started to investigate what really happened. Well, what happened is as follows, is that when they put down their first drill, to drill they, had, they were drilling into an area in which there were two formations that had oil. One was fairly shallow, and one was quite deep, okay? And when I say quite deep, not deep in terms of what we're talking about now, but, but it, was, it was deep, okay? Right. Now, at, the, at this point, it is interesting enough to know that Santa Barbara is all already invaded with uh, oil, simply because some of these four nations are fractured and have leaking oil, and there's a place in Santa Barbara called Coal Oil, Coal oil, oil Point, okay? Right. And the Santa Barbara people have been putting up with oil from Coal Oil Point all their lives. They're still putting up with oil from Coal Oil Point. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, so uh, the, 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 uh, the, the Santa Barbara didn't did know to, to, to what the Santa Barbara oil field was contributing or not contributing. Uh, a point I have to make now, because it's followed, which is, which is very relevant to the following situation, is why was federal government at, at all involved? Well, it turns out that the federal government had granted a lease to, uh, to, to Union Oil to, to do it. And why the federal government land granted a lease? Well, it depended upon where the Union Oil well was, was, was done. And we're now getting back to the law of the sea problem. And that is, is that the state of, Calif of California, okay, Right. I can go over the waters out to three miles, okay? Because that was the limit of the territorial sea, and the territorial sea was the territorial sea of the state of California. Are you following me? Yes, sir, I am. And so, therefore, if the oil, if an oil well was going to be built, the state of California was going to authorize it, and the state of California was kept going back into the royalty, okay? Right? Understood. Well, it turned out there, there, were, there was well, a whole bunch of oil fields, Within that three mile thing, to come down Long Beach, California, and then all up and down the coast, okay? So the, the state was not interested in, in, in stopping oil drilling off the coast of California, but they were interested in stopping oil drilling by the federal government off, off the coast of California. Are you, are you following me? That would be outside the three-mile limit. They wouldn't want the federal government to issue any leases. Am I correct? Right, right, okay. Now, outside the three-mile limit, it turned out that our territorial sea had already been extended to 12 miles, okay? All right? Because what, did we have any jurisdiction over those waters? Well, we, we, we didn't have... We, 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 we could have under, under the Continental Shelf Doctrine, okay? Uh, uh, we, uh, and we could have had a... Uh, the territorial sea doctrine, because it was more than 12 miles, see, we couldn't have it on something that was outside of 12 miles, because that would be in international waters, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so it turned out that the federal, the federal government knew in a way that they liked and didn't like that they're the guys that really own the the, 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 the well and, and, and the duck and everything that went and regulated everything that went on inside that strip narrow strip between three miles and twelve miles okay all yes. right right so uh, so the next thing we discover is, is is what this guy actually did and then he drilled a a, a a pipe down that was open at the bottom and he went down to the deep formation are you following me? Yes, sir. Now, he was able to drill into two different formations from one platform that was how big across? 